Okay guys, so what tools do you really need to sell on Amazon? Now someone asked me this question the other day, so I thought I'd put together this video to show you the tools that I use and also the tools that I avoid. Before I get into the video, I just wanna announce next week's video. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing an Ask Me Anything session. So if you have any questions about me, about Amazon FBA or anything else in general, post them in the comments on this video then next week I'm gonna go through all of these comments and answer as many as I possibly can. Um, I'll also be doing an exclusive giveaway in that video as well, so keep an eye out for that video because that's gonna be hopefully celebrating the channel hitting 3,000 subscribers. Um, but back to this topic. So these are the tools that I believe you do not need. Uh, and the first one is the product research database tool. So by that I mean um, Jungle Scout, um, web app, which is also now just called Jungle Scout. You've got Black Box from Helium 10, and I think you've got Product Discovery from Viral Launch, and there's various others. Now, I'm not saying that these tools are bad. I'm just saying I would avoid using them because I believe they quite often produce products that lots of people end up finding. So it's not about how you find these products, and I've done videos on this before. It's not about how you find these products, and it's down to you coming up with opportunities within those products, not about being presented with a shortlist that everyone else is seeing. So that is why I would avoid the product research database tools. The other tool that I would avoid, and that is the Amazon Seller mobile app. Now this is a great app, um, and I had it installed for the first few months of selling. It's super exciting seeing your sales come through and seeing that graph grow each day and being able to swipe to refresh your sales. However, it becomes extremely addictive. Anyone that's got it installed will probably know exactly what I mean. How many times a day do you actually check it? I mean, when I, I produced a video on this about six months ago, when I actually uninstalled the app, and on one of the days I checked it over 70 times and that's when I said, right, this is enough, I need to stop using this app. So that's one of the reasons it's far too addictive, but the, the main reason is it encourages bad decisions. You know, When you start refreshing after a few hours and no new sales are coming through, it encourages you to make bad decisions um, based on a time scale you shouldn't be making decisions on. So if you're not getting sales, you want to be waiting a couple of days or longer before starting to make tweaks, not based on an hour or two. So rather than going to tweak your listing or tweaking your PPC campaign, you should be leaving it and giving it time because Amazon sales do fluctuate and their patterns can vary quite a lot. So those are the tools I would say you don't need and, and should try to avoid, especially the mobile app. But these are the tools I actually use. Uh, the first one is completely free and this is my very own profit calculator which I developed. This is available to download for free from the FBA Elite resources section. So if you head over to fbaelite.com, um, sign up, it's completely free, head to the resources tab. There's lots of other resources on there as well, but today I've just added my profit calculator and this covers people that are both non-VAT registered and VAT registered and then just hit that download button. And what I've created is a very stripped back profit calculator. I've seen quite a few online and they are very good calculators, but they're very, very um, involved. Um, so these I've tried to do a, one that's a stripped back as much as possible and is really, really simple to use. So all you need to do is go through each step, entering the relevant figure, and then it will output your profit per unit and overall profit. I completely understand if people want more complex calculators, and I'd also recommend developing your own calculator based on how you want to work. So I use this because this is how I like to work. I like to get my core profit margin, and then I worry about PPC and stuff like that, whereas other people like to include that all in, in part of their calculation and also like to know their ROI and stuff like that. So develop a calculator for your needs. If not, you've got the free one there on fbaelite.com that you can download from that resource section that I just showed you. Uh, the next tool I use, and that is a sales estimator. Now, whether this is Jungle Scout or something else, the one I've been using more and more lately is X-Ray from Helium 10, and, and that pretty much works um, like this. You've seen this in many of my previous videos. You'll get a list of all of the products that you've searched for a keyword term, so for example, chopping board, and then it'll give you estimated stat monthly sales for these products. So based on the product criteria you're working to, if you're looking for a product that sells five or 600 units a month, you can see whether the niche you're looking at is actually worthwhile getting invested and there's enough demand there to justify you entering that niche. The other thing I would look for in my sales estimator and that is a seasonality check. And I covered this in last week's video. What it allows you to do, if you look at popular products, you can see how well this product has been selling over the last year or longer. And then you can get a feel after looking at multiple products where there is a, whether there is a seasonality issue that you need to be concerned with um, so that you can be aware whether to avoid that product or whether to order stock accordingly for when there's gonna be peaks and troughs in that demand. So that's what I would recommend. You definitely need these two. You know, you need to know what your profit's gonna be and you're gonna to need to know what the sales are gonna be. Now, which, whether you're using Jungle Scout or X-Ray or something similar, pretty much all the ones I've tried have been fairly accurate. So I, I, would, I would say that they are all pretty much accurate and they have enough data to get the sales pretty much right. 
The next thing you need is a keyword research tool um, and or a reverse ASIN tool. Most of the tool suites will cover both of those. Um, I would recommend against using the Amazon Auto PPC. Now, I did use that on my first product to launch my first product. However, it is a very inefficient and expensive way of developing a PPC strategy. So I actually run this again a week or two ago um, to experiment, see if it got any better. So I run this on a product that had been listed on Amazon for about nine months. So Amazon know full well what this product converts well for. They have this data, they know which keywords it sells for, they know exactly what the product's all about. So I run this campaign for a day or so, just to see what they would do. And what they managed to do, they managed to blow through my budget in about two or three hours, uh, generate zero sales, and when I looked at these keywords and the other ASINs that they showed my product on, I would say three quarters of them were completely irrelevant. Now you could persevere, you could add these keywords as negative keywords and block some of the ASINs that you don't want to appear on. However, it's so inefficient. You know, The money I spent in one day on this would pay for a month subscription on a suitable keyword research software. So that's why I would say avoid Amazon's auto PPC. Do not trust Amazon to spend your PPC money because they will spend it badly. Um, the next tool I use, and pretty much the last tool I use, is my rank tracker. So this tracks my organic ranks and my sponsored ranks. So here's an example. This is one of the keywords that I track for one of my products, and you can see here what it allows me to do. I know that when I go out of stock and come back in stock that my rank is going to drop off, and then I can run PPC campaigns to get my ranks improved. And by tracking both your sponsored and organic rankings, it allows you to monitor your PPC really closely. It'll give you an idea of how aggressive you need to be with your PPC to get ranked. Because if you're in these low positions, you're going to be really super aggressive with your PPC till you get ranked back in those kind of top 10 results. Whereas if you're already up there, you might kind of throttle back on PPC because you can see your organic ranks are really performing really well. So it's very important you track your ranks. And those are the main tools that I use. And these three here, um, I use all of them um, from Helium 10, as I've told you guys many, many times before. Um, as, as usual, there's an affiliate link. If you don't want to use that affiliate link, that's absolutely fine. Just go to helium10.com. You can try these all for free. Um, but if you do want to use it, there's a couple of discounts code there. If you want to get 10% of every month, so if you're going to be using Helium 10 for a long time, like I have been, use that code. It will save you more in the long run. Or if you just want it for a short term to maybe do some keyword research for a product launch, then just use 50% of your first month, and that will save you 50% on that. So those are the tools I use and the tools that I avoid. Hopefully you guys will post a comment below with a question for next week's video. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It'll help me on my way to those 3,000 subscribers. Uh, like this video, especially for the profit calculator, that's completely free. And if you aren't already a member, head over to fbaelite.com, sign up for free, and that's where you can download that profit calculator.